hey guys welcome back to my channel today i will be uh, doing a video about how to prep your primark how to prepare yourself for the painting painting process painting process <laughs> sorry uh, that will be this uh, amazing miniature conrad curse uh, we'll be talking about sub assemblies today uh, it's a topic that some people find difficult to to process to analyze to to get into so yeah basically that and for that i'll be using this specific model all right so when do we sub assemble a miniature well basically you do that when you want to get a superior finish to your miniature basically when you want to spend a little bit more time and effort in getting every single aspect of the miniature better better looking better painted and uh, get better effects okay so um also we do that whenever uh, a piece is um, in front of another part of the miniature and will make it uh, quite difficult for you to paint in detail that specific part that's been covered by another piece also sometimes this piece will just be in happen to be in a different color that will completely mess up your whole painting scheme for example uh conrad curse, curse cloak which is covered by skin and uh, face skin facial skin and all that which will go of course in a skin like tone and the armor is of course blue dark blue a candle blue uh, finish so if i try to paint my a cloak with the armor in front of it or on top of it or you know when, when with the cloak assembled it will be a lot harder for me to get a better uh, painting job even though if if some of those uh, parts will not be seen because because the cloak will be in front of it I don't care i'm obsessed with getting my miniatures the best finish i can the best paint job i can perform so in those cases self-assembling is um, a really useful tool useful tool of course you i recommend not to abuse of that okay there's the limit so when do we need to self-assemble in this case in this specific scenario conrad curse well, in my opinion, as you can see, I have already assembled a couple of pieces, just a couple, not every single piece. The base, well, we'll keep separated. We'll not talk about it. The only two parts of the base that will be assembled or ready for painting are the solar auxilia, dead guys, uh, which this one is actually has two pieces, the head and one of the arms. Um, needs to be glued down so i already assembled the whole guy and well the other one is already comes already uh done and ready for painting okay remember also to always uh, give a, a, a extensive cleaning on your miniature because it's you know it's covered with that uh, grease they use to take out the pieces out of the molds and it's a nightmare okay please do that before you attempt to glue anything okay some of the assemblies that I've performed already um, the body of Conrad curse I only glued down this piece which comes uh, separated this hip plate armor it's already assembled is the same color of power armor so there is no reason for it to be taken away the head of course just to make my job easier when painting it i have already attached it to a toothpick which i have already pre-cut it like this okay i just add a little bit of super glue thick and then just wait for it to get glued down the arms the arms let's talk about the arms which is a specific case where sub-assembling comes in handy uh, the claws, of course, I have attached to the arms. Why? And, well, and I have um, kept the hands separated. Why is that? Well, the claws are very fragile. So, only gluing them is a nightmare. 
and I cannot imagine trying to paint the hands of Conrad Kurz with the claws in the way. And I cannot imagine myself painting the claw uh, on top of a toad pick. It's just, it's just going to make it harder. It's, they are way too thin for me just to, to paint them over the, the toad pick. So the best way for me to do that is just assemble the claws, keep the hands unassembled, paint the hands um, separately and the arms separately and the claws over the, the on, on the arms already attached on the arms and then glue the whole thing together it will not be uh, noticeable when I glue the hands down to the uh, to the armor and then it will be noticeable if I try to glue the claws after the paint job is already done so it's also a convenience okay uh, the shoulder pads I have kept uh, unassembled because they are go in different colors actually uh, gold copper red and uh, sandry dust bone so I have kept them separated from the rest of the armor the rest of the body uh, always is good for you to check pre assemble the miniature for example this arm uh, I have the armor join here that will be covered by the shield but I just don't want to paint that it's, it's a good area to give some uh, detail even if the, the shoulder pad will cover that I just like it to be painted okay I'm that obsessive so it's it's just for personal um, pleasure I may say or, or satisfaction but yeah it, it I would recommend that so also, I would like to let you know a tool I have been using for a, quite a, some time now. Uh, I don't know how it's called in the States, Canada, or anywhere else, but down here in Colombia, it's called Oasis. It's something you can get at any flower shop. It's this green um, brick. It's pretty um, malleable. I mean, you can just tear it down with your fingers if you're not careful. I'll keep it in this paper wrap so it will not make a mess over my desk. And there I will be placing my uh, pre-assembled pieces once they have been um, primed and where I will be painting on them. They will be staying there for drying so they don't lie around and I can avoid touching the pieces. Okay, that's the main way I will paint this miniature. If you have any doubts or any questions or any tips or any idea on how to improve this, pro the whole, this whole process, it's welcome. You can leave your comments below. I really appreciate it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I will start prepping my primer. That's how... Conrad Curse, which is basically easy to prepare, easy to prepare. Um, well, this compared to lemon rust, which I had to basically paint uh, every single piece, separated the gun, the knife, the sword, the the axe, the head, the pelt. Well, every single piece was all around around my my desk in the previous video, as you can see. Uh, this primer is specifically easy to prepare. So next video I will be talking about how to prime it. I will do it all of it with brushes. I will not use an airbrush, even though I have one. I will not use it because I want to show you that you can get awesome results, little eff little effort, just using uh, your paints in the smart, the smartest way possible. Uh, if you have any comments, any suggestions, any um, tutorials you want to see on my channel, any questions, if you have a specific question about a model and I, if I have uh, worked with that, be sure I'll be answering you. Uh, you can leave me your comments and questions down below in the, in the comment section or over my Instagram, which I will leave you the link in the description of this video. Thank you very much for joining me for this uh, video, guys. Uh, please subscribe if you like your this, this content. 
uh, give me a like leave, leave me a like and if you know anyone that may find this useful please share this content of course i uh, really appreciate your support guys i wish i can make more videos give me your ideas on how uh, on which tutorials you want to see i'll be working on them so you can see more content over my channel thank you very much guys and until the next time we'll be talking about priming happy war gaming guys have a good day